what's up guys mr free coiner coming back to you again today hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourself now before i get started here i do want to say i am not a financial advisor i'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions so please only take it as that okay now short thing here nothing's really happening with the price as you can see it's everything's pretty much the same um so not a whole lot to talk about however there are those i think this right here is uh from cryptomaniac and him as well as several others have been putting up this uh, ta information saying that xrp is in a in a specific channel and we are um, looking for some type of breakout whether it's up or down uh, something major should be happening in the next uh, days to weeks so that's going to be interesting now considering everything that's happening this month uh, such as cybos and uh, back launching and i think a couple other things happening you know a lot of a lot can happen this is uh, these are things that are um, you know pretty important in the space uh, even here, it says that Ripple will be doing a presentation titled The Future of Cross-Border Payments. And this is at Cybos. This is a Swift's event. So that's, you know, that's um, that's that's very good. I mean, it, there's a lot to look forward to and a lot to, you know, you wouldn't be wrong to expect some very good um, actions after these things happen. So and if it doesn't happen. You know, it is what it is. We we have we're used to it, um, but I can tell you guys, things the way they are going right now, it cannot continue with this sideways uh, movement. It, it just can't. There's, uh, you know, it, it makes no sense uh, for it to move like that. Even the, you know, if you want to, if you do believe that whales are actually manipulating the market, you know, at some time they themselves are going to want uh, to to have some type of price movement themselves. I mean, either, either it's up or down, something's got to happen. We just can't keep this sideways movement. Um, and I believe it'll be major uh, either way it goes. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and move on. And this is just speaking more about the uh, uh, XRP, you know, USD pair. It says here, bears are further pressing for a devastating support break. Breakout now. I mean, this particular publication, I don't put a whole lot of, uh, uh, you know, I don't put a whole lot into this. It's just more um, highlighting news or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and kill that. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on. All right, so mysterious game-changing XRP project underway, says Crypto Exchange Coinfield. Now, um, this is pretty interesting I, I i definitely want to uh know what they have going on uh they are saying here he says we have a great team of advisors in our upcoming upcoming xrpl project all well-known figures in, in the cryptocurrency space i'll be thrilled to announce the names and details of the project very soon this will be a game changer so uh apparently they have something planned that no one else is doing right now so it's going to be interesting to see what they have going on, what they have planned. Um, yeah, definitely a lot is is just surrounding XRP at the time at this moment. And guys, um, I tweeted something out just the other day. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, yeah, this right here says now is the time to be more bullish than ever on XRP. And this is absolutely, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm totally, you know, down with that because, I mean, even there looking at this, uh, the way the chart is looking, uh, everyone's expecting some type of breakout. And it's, I think the uh, expectation is for something to break upwards as opposed to uh, down. So um, now here it says, uh, uh, XRP, the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap, has been the center of attention of late. The asset has garnered interest due to its sideways trading most of the year in spite of the surge in Bitcoin and other top cryptocurrencies. Several crypto analysts have also attributed the virtual currency's downward, uh, downtrend to Ripple's manipulation of the market, which is absolutely, you know, I mean, the same thing. 
Um, manipulation is <laughs> is uh, you know it's it's all speculative. I mean, could they be man manipulating it? Uh, hey, who knows? It's it's definitely not uh, what they are saying. It, it doesn't have anything to do with the uh, the selling that they're doing. Uh, mainly because this, the mo majority of what they sell is on the OTC market, which is not even seen on, on the retail side. So it's not done on the exchanges. So um, I really I really don't believe that's even something that um, we have to be concerned about, even if and, and not to mention Ripple's already said that they uh, have and, and will and have uh, stopped selling as much as they uh, have been and to be honest with you guys i believe the reason for that is that they've positioned everything that they need to position now it's just a matter of waiting for what's going to happen to actually start happening okay so let's go ahead and move on uh, uh again uh, from the xrp daily breaking Bitso uh, XRP liquidity index breaks all time highs. XRP sur surpasses BTC and MXN volume. Um, so, yeah, on Bitso XRP's uh, volume has, has outshined Bitcoins. Yeah, so as you can see here, the, it shows here the active markets. Uh, now, this is on Bitso. The um, XR <laughs> XRP is number one on, the, uh, on this exchange outshining Bitcoin. Can you believe that? Now, I totally believe it. And as I mentioned before, you know, obviously we all, we all know XRP is going to overtake Bitcoin. It's just without, without a doubt, it's not a matter of if, it's just, it's just when. Uh, and this is going to be across the board. Now, of course, it, uh, it kind of behooves certain people to keep things the way they are. But guys, it's it can't stay like this. It can't. And I, and I tweeted something out uh, the other day that I, you know, I think it is closer to being true than not. And what that is, is that I said um, Bitcoin was simply a social experiment experiment created by one of the three letter agencies. Um, it basically was never meant to last. Uh, just they just wanted to use it to see. How receptive we would be to cryptocurrencies but it's pretty obvious that considering the capabilities of Bitcoin it's not much better than Swift itself I mean if you really think about it because at its high at its peak just imagine if you were trying to put a trillion dollars through Bitcoin you know a two trillion dollars through Bitcoin it's not going to happen. You would have transactions taking days to complete. And then not on, not just that, the fees would be astronomical. So is that better than Swift? Oh, I, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's if it is, not very much. So uh, anyway, that's the way I take it. Uh, just my opinion again, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about that, I mean, definitely look it up. That's just from my research. That's what I'm seeing. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. CoinMe secures $1.5 million from Ripple's X-Spring XRP listing on 2,600 ATMs soon. So this is a pretty big deal right here because if you think about it, there are a lot of people who actually use these ATMs to get into crypto. I know this was one of the ways that I first got into it. Uh, in fact, it was it was the uh, the first way that I did because I wasn't able, you know, back then in 2017, it was pretty difficult to actually um, do all of the stuff necessary that you know from for Coinbase to attach your account and all that. Uh, it was very likely they would reject it and have you have you do it all over again. It was just really a big hassle. So it was much easier just to go to an ATM, you know, put in a little bit of cash or use your card or whatever. And then you got your crypto right there. Now, yeah, they charged uh, some ATMs did charge quite high fees to actually use it. But I mean, you know, it's it's uh, the best alternative. And, you know, it's better than not being able to do it at all. You know, so. Um, so, yeah, it, this is a big thing now having. XRP as an option 
to be able to uh, uh, or to for people to be able to buy it just at the ATM. That is huge. That's that's huge. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this will affect uh, everything. Now, I don't know what the time frame is on this. Uh, I don't think they you know, they don't mention a, any type of time frame. But um, if it's just a matter of going in and, and adding uh, the ability in the in the actual ATM, this could happen in a uh, pretty short frame uh, uh, time frame. So we'll see how that goes. We shall see. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. Ripple exec talks about XRP as a means of liquidity management. So, yeah, we know uh, this is pretty well known thing here. Uh, Marjan Delatine is talking about this. And of course, this is one of the main um, um, capabilities that XRP is allowing uh, these financial institutions where liquidity is, is so important, obviously. I mean, being able to give these companies uh, you know, as she says here, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, it says here, in general, the way the existing banking estab establishments work is that they trap capital from corporates and individuals in order to ensure that they can move money around the globe. This, according to Delatine, not only gives rise to capital costs, but also has effects as well as counterparty risk, and hence is a very complex setup. So, you know, not exposing people to the uh, fluctuations in the, the you know in this fx market and all that uh, it's just obviously it's huge the 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 benefits that xrp is going to bring to the financial space is just unimaginable there are still several other things i'm sure that have not even been talked about yet um but will be groundbreaking I mean, I'm just I'm I'm really excited to see what happens just between now and the end of the year. Uh, I personally I do believe now. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling anybody to go and buy XRP based on what I'm going to say. But I personally believe that the price of XRP will not be a problem at all by the end of this year. And what I believe also is that the problems that we are seeing now will all shift to uh, having to manage our money, <laughs> manage our investment, uh, because basically because of the value. Now, guys, also, I want to say I was reading someone's uh, tweet just the just last night, I think it was. Uh, and I cannot remember the name of the account, but he was saying that someone actually hacked his computer and stole all of his crypto i think it was all of his xrp which is man that's uh that's definitely uh, a nightmare situation i'm sure that we all um fear that you know highly fear that and guys what i can tell you is one way you can you know minimize the risk of someone actually getting all of your crypto is get a hardware wallet now i have a link uh, in my description, if you want to use it, if not, that is absolutely fine. But no matter what you do, if you don't already have a hardware wallet, get one. You don't want to lose your crypto. I mean, just imagine if you have 10,000 XRP, someone steals it all and XRP goes to $100. You will be absolutely sick. I mean, just absolutely sick. Uh, so, I mean, I, I just really, really encourage you guys. Anyone that doesn't have it, please get it. It's only, I think it's like $50 now. When I bought mine, it was like a hundred bucks. Um, so you're getting already half off. Uh, you, you really need to get one. You really, really do. So, uh, guys, that's really all I have for you. Um, I, I hope this, uh, this video was helpful or, uh, entertaining or, you know, all of that. And, um, if uh, that is the case and you feel it is deserving or I am deserving, please hit that subscribe button and also smash the like button for this video and the post notification button.
so you know when I post it again. Guys, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.